we are going to solve one problem on time complexity and it is it, it is one of the questions came in the previous gate exams. So, here the question is on the mapping of an array onto the computer's memory in the row major or in the column major. So, that related problem see the problem please. Two matrices M1 and M2 are stored in arrays A and B respectively. So, two matrices are there M1 and M2 they have got they have got stored onto the arrays A and B. Each array can be stored either in row major or column major order. Row major means the array content will be read row wise and sequentially they will be kept in the computer's memory. In case of column major the array content will be read column wise and they will be kept sequentially in the computer's memory accordingly. Okay. Each array can be stored either in row major or column major order in continuous contiguous memory locations. The time complexity of the algorithm to compute m1 into m2 will be best if a is stored in the row major and b in the column major. Best if both a and b are stored in the row major, best if both a and b are stored in the column major independent of the storage scheme. So, these are the four options we are having. Always remember whenever you are trying to access one location's content depending upon the uh, respective row number and the column number from the memory then, they, then it is irrespective of the mapping of that array onto the computer's memory whether it is row major or whether it is column major. Row major column major are the internal facts, but to access one array content at a certain row and column from the memory is a constant time factor job. That means, the task will not depend upon the actual storage scheme policies. So, that is why it is a constant time required, it is constant time required to access one array content from the main memory. So, that is why the answer will be independent of the storage scheme. So, that should be the answer. So, for this particular problem I shall put a tick for this option number D. So, remember this one do not get misguided that option A will be the choice. Always remember to access one array content with respect to a certain row and column number is a constant time. It requires a constant time. It does not depend upon the storage scheme which is the internal fact of mapping one array onto the linear computer's memory. Thanks for watching this video.